Look, there's there's no doubt about it. If uh, you know, you take a few pictures of a high school senior and um, you messed up somewhere along the way. If you went back to the customer and said, you know, I'm sorry I messed up. Is there any way we can do this again? <laughs> There's a good chance that they say, sure, no problem. You can't do that with a wedding. Uh, I got to be honest here. I think the best way for any photographer to learn how to, to shoot a wedding is to ride the coattails of another seasoned photographer, you know, and, and live out a wedding through the eyes of another photographer to see what it's like because it's completely different from any other type of photography shoot that you could possibly imagine. Um, and I think you need to do that about five times. Unfortunately, <laughs> finding another professional photographer that's willing to take you on is a little bit harder um, than we would like. I don't, I don't think that there's anything that this video could do to get you totally prepared for a wedding. Um, I, I hope people don't watch this set of classes and think that that is going to turn them into somehow magically a wedding photographer. Uh, but hopefully what the video does do is give you some insights um, from someone who's done it a few times. Like I said, uh, shooting a wedding is unlike any other photography shoot that you could possibly imagine. There are so many variables, so many intangibles that go on with a wedding um, that you just you need to be prepared for. And so hopefully we convey uh, some of those insights to what shooting a wedding is like and, and that way you know the beginning professional doesn't go into this so clueless, you know what I mean? They don't go into this with this feeling of hopeless, hopelessness and they're just confused about where to go. Hopefully we give them some direction. The interview process is, is critical. I'm, I mean, it, it's super critical. I can't say super critical enough. In fact, it may just be the single thing that makes or breaks that wedding. It'll either you know, make you fail or make you be successful. So we go into the whole interview process quite extensively. We even uh, provide a printable uh, PDF document with a whole bunch of questions and topics to discuss during the interview process. So we cover that in Wedding 101. We also go into um, the pre-ceremony phase, um, all the requirements that, that are gonna be responsible for you everything that you're going to encounter. We do the same thing for the ceremony, we do the same thing for the reception, and we, we divide the wedding up into three sections for you and explain to you each process and what you're liable to uh, encounter. We also cover um, a, a workflow process, what you'll do on your computer when you get home, and, and I, I reveal to you how I handle those files from the time they come out of my camera to the time that I hand them off to the customer and the process that I follow so that you know my life goes just a little bit smoother. We share that with you too. We also cover quite extensively the minimum requirements, the minimum equipment requirements that you'll need to get the job done. Um, and then we start going into some of the more preferred products that you're going to want to add into your equipment bag and your equipment list so that you can do the best job that you possibly can. We go over that in great detail. There's no doubt about it. Um, wedding photography is an art form into itself, but it's an enormous amount of work. Um, it's not so much work physically as it is mentally. Um, at the end of a, a six to eight hour wedding event, I feel like I've worked a 16 hour day. You know, it will fry your brain. You know, if you care about what you do, if you have a passion about what you do, um, you put your best foot forward in everything that you do with that, right? And so I really love photography and I really put my best foot forward and I'm racking my brain, you know, six to eight hours trying to figure out what I can do to make this the best possible photography session for this client. And when I get to the end of that day, my brain is fried, okay? And, and I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> At least I'd like to think I know what I'm doing by now. Um, I remember back in the very beginning when I was just learning this. And if I could take any of the insight that I have now 
and give it back to myself, you know, back there at the beginning, uh, I would, it would just be worth so much. So that's the purpose of Wedding 101, to be able to take some of these insights um, and, and give them to the beginning photographer so we can set their expectations accordingly and hopefully uh, equip them to be successful.